Here at Fox 61, we are continuing our ongoing efforts to speak with leaders all across our state this morning. Joining us on the phone once again, Mayor Aaron Stewart from New Britain. Mayor Stewart, thanks so much for taking the time. Good to have you on the program and hear how you are doing. Let's talk first about how New Britain is doing the numbers. And as far as cases, good news, hospitalizations are down across the state, but it is still a really difficult time for folks in, all over the state, including New Britain. Good morning, Erica. Yes, and thank you so much for having me this morning. You know, there are some good signs of hope. We have seen our numbers, at least in New Britain, plateau over the last week and a half. And like I mentioned, you know, we've been having daily conversations with the Hospital of Central Connecticut, and they've been really doing an incredible job of keeping us in the loop and, and letting us know when our hospitalization rates are going down. And we're seeing less and less people come into the, our local hospital. Um, with with the virus so that is a, that's a good sign and i know you're continuing to urge people that are new to britain to abide by the social distancing guidelines again it's so important to continue to work to flatten the curve how many times can we mention it? Um, and it's still never enough, right? You know, to continue staying six feet away from people, wear the mask when you're in public or some type of face covering. Um, you know, just be think beyond yourself. And that's the slogan that we've been talking about in town. We've got it plastered in posters and signs all over our community. We can't remind people enough. Um, our actions are what's flattening this curve. And as long as we just stick with it for a couple more weeks, the, uh, the end is an in, insight. Yeah. Now, you mentioned it briefly, the signs. The great thing about what's happening right now is that so many people are helping each other. They're just coming out in the community supporting those that need it. They absolutely are. Just last night, we had a local restaurant give over 500 free meals away. Um, we've had local restaurant tours that have been providing food for our community for the last couple of weeks, just the random acts of kindness. And we want to make sure uh, that we're highlighting that and recognizing that in our little bubble here in the city of New Britain. So I've launched what we're calling the Think Beyond Yourself Awards, and we're allowing people to nominate someone from the community who who's really going above and beyond to care for their neighbors and care for other people during this difficult time. So find me on Facebook or email me at mayor at newbritainct.gov if you have someone you'd like to nominate. Nominations are open until uh, the end of the month. Oh my goodness, that's a fantastic program. I love that. Now, we want to talk a little bit more about the good news. The number of hospitalizations are down, and the governor has said if this continues day by day, we can slowly start to open up the state and the economy sooner rather than later. What's your thought on that? You know, I, I agree. You have to take it slow and steady wins the race, right? We don't want to just open everything back up all at once. But there are some things that I think once those numbers start to decline and we're seeing a decline, uh, we can start looking at slowly starting to reopen. And I know he's put together a team of individuals to help um, – figure out what that looks like. Um, I know that there's people who are certainly getting a little um, restless out there. I know I could really use my hair done, so I'm hoping that hairdressers might be mm -hmm. one of the first ones to go. <laughs> um, but slow and steady wins the race here, and I think, you know, just, just a little bit while longer, and we just have to ease into it. Yeah, Mayor Sue, I think most people would agree with you. Now, I'm a mom of three. You're a mom-to-be, 27 <laughs> weeks pregnant. have to ask how you are doing, how you are coping. I mean, 27 weeks you know, can be challenging on its own, but, you know, we have this new normal that we're living in. How are you doing? Thank you so much for asking. Um, I'm getting bigger by the day. I'm really hungry, and I'm having problems sleeping, but I guess that's to be expected. Um, but we're feeling good. We went to the doctor the other day, and doctor said that everything looks really good, so we're excited. Just a couple more months to go till we meet our little princess, so we're, we're excited. We'll, we'll make it through this. <laughs> Absolutely. We're so excited for you as well and glad to hear that you are staying healthy and well and feeling good. Thank you so much.